Happy New Year's everybody, Entertainment Reviews here, I'm wishing everybody a Happy New Year's and New Year's Eve, I hope everybody had a great one. Let's get started with this video, this is Top 10 Favorite Funko Pops of 2017. Now this is my personal list, so there are going to be a lot of pops on this list that y'all are not going to agree with. I know most of these y'all are not going to agree with. But remember, this is my own personal list. Leave your comments down below on what your top 10 would be. But before we get started with the top 10, I want to do some honorable mentions. I've actually got five honorable mentions. So let's get started with them first. And then I will show y'all my top 10 favorite Funko Pops of 2017. Now, there were a lot of great pops this year. There was a lot that I wanted to put in my top 10, but not all of them could be in my top 10. So there were five that I knew that I really wanted to put in there, and I came close to doing, but I couldn't do it. So here's the first honorable mention. It goes to Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. Now, you're probably thinking, shouldn't this be in your top 10? It was so close, but yet so far, I love this pop. I love the design. It's pretty simple, but it just looks great. I love the sculpt of his hair. It looks just like Macaulay Culkin. I love his red shredder. I love his pants. I love that he has the iron in one hand and the BB gun in the other. I mean, this is a great pop. As a Home Alone fan... I love this to death, and this will always be my favorite Christmas pop. I just couldn't get myself to put this at number 10 or anywhere else on that list, and that is why this is an honorable mentions. This is Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. Okay, so next up on this honorable mentions list, we have Jack Torrance from The Shining. Now, I'm a huge Stephen King fan. I've got most of his books. I love The Shining, and I really love the sculpt of Jack Torrance. I love the hair. looks just like uh, Jack Nicholson. I love that he's holding the axe. I love that there's blood on the axe. I love everything about this figure. But I couldn't decide between this and another horror figure to be in the top 10. So that's why this is an honorable mention. Otherwise, if I had a top 20, this would definitely be in that but yeah Jack Torrance I'm putting in an honorable mention and as for the chase version the chase well I'm gonna do a top 10 best chase of 2017 video later so next up in the honorable mention goes to Rick and Morty's Tinkles with Ghost in a Jar I wanted to put a Rick and Morty pop in my top 10 but I couldn't find one to do that so I put Tinkles in honorable mention I'm a huge fan of Rick and Morty. She is from one of my favorite episodes, Total Rick Hall. And I am so happy to own this pop. It took me forever, but I got lucky and got her. I love the sculpt of this pop. She is a lamb, of course. I love the unicorn rainbow horn. I love the tiara. I love the tutu. I love the socks. And I really love that she comes with ghosts in the jar. She only made a small appearance. But it was a big lasting impression. I love this character. I love this pop. And that is why she is number three in my honorable mentions. Next honorable mention goes to Belle from Once Upon a Time. Now when this pop first came out and I saw the glam for this. I lost my shit. Because I'm a huge One Belle fan. I love Belle and Wumpo. They were my favorite couple on the show. I just went out and bought the chip cup. That is my most prized possession I own out of everything I own. I'm just a huge Once Upon a Time fan. I'm a huge Belle fan. And I wanted to put her on the top 10 so bad. But there were way better pops with way better scopes that I liked more. And that's why she's an honorable mention. And I just really love this pop. Now her design is what looks to be from either Season 3 or Season 5. I can't remember. I have to go back and watch. But either way, she looks just like she does on the show. I love the head, head sculpt, the hair sculpt. I love that she's holding the dagger. I love the boots. 
I love the leggings. I love everything about this figure. I love you, Belle. And that is why you are an honorable mention. And you are still one of my all-time favorite pops I own this year. Okay, guys, don't hate me for this, but my last honorable mention goes to Speedy Gonzalez from Looney Tunes. Now, he was a New York Comic Con exclusive limited to, I think, what was it, 2,000 and something pieces. I'm a huge Looney Tunes fan. I'm a huge Speedy Gonzalez fan, and I wanted to put this in the top 10, but because of a certain Stranger Things figure that I like to sculpt up more and a couple of animated figures that I like to sculpt up more, I couldn't do it. But either way, I love this figure. I'm a huge Looney Tunes fan. I'm a huge Speedy Gonzalez fan. I was so happy that I got this. I remember trying to get this, not thinking I was going to get this, thinking my phone's too slow. It's not going to work because he went faster than he could run. And I got lucky and it said order confirmed. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. And I was just so happy. I love the sculpt of this figure. He's a mouse. He's adorable. The eyes are adorable. The hair sculpt is nice. The cute mouth is nice. The tail is adorable. I love the sculpt of his white outfit. I love his red handkerchief. I love the sculpt of his big yellow sombrero. He is one of my favorite figures I own. And that is why Speedy Gonzalez is an honorable mention that came really close to being in my top 10. Okay guys, that's going to do it for the honorable mentions. Now on to the actual top 10. Okay guys, at number 10 we have Steve from Stranger Things. Now I'm a huge Stranger Things fan, but I wasn't a fan of Steve when he first came out. I didn't really like his character until season 2, but I'm really glad I picked this up. Because he is really hard to get now. I think he's like $85 on like Pop Price Guide. But this is a great figure. I love the sculpt of the hair. I love the busted nose. I love the bruised eye. I love the shredder. I love the blue jeans. The sneakers look good. I like that they gave him the watch on his arm. And I really love that he's holding the bat with the nails in him. From the end of season one when he's about to battle the Demogorgon along with Nancy and Jonathan. So yeah, this is just a really great figure. I really grew to like this character and that is why I'm putting Steve at number 10. Okay guys, so at number 9 we have Flock Cat Dog from SDCC. Now I'm a huge Nickelodeon fan. I love Cat Dog and I love this figure. Now, I could have put the regular cat dog on this list, but I picked this one just because I was hoping they would make a Phlox version, and they did. I was just not expecting it to be a Comic-Con, but I'm kind of glad because it makes it more special. I love the sculpt. I love the patch on dog's eye. I love the whiskers on cat. I wish they were black like on the concept art, but this is just a great figure all around. The two heads, the body scope, the dots on the body, everything about this figure is just perfect all around. In fact, this is the first figure I did a review of the common a while back. And that was the first common review, figure review, that got me over a thousand views. Thank y'all so much for that. And yeah, Cat Dog flocked at number nine. Okay guys, so at number 8, I have picked Scrooge McDuck in the Gold Money Pit. Now, this is so iconic. As a kid, Toon Disney, DuckTales, oh my god, I just love this show as a kid. That's why Scrooge is at number 8. Now I could have put any of the DuckTail Pops at number 8, but this one stood out the most just because it's so iconic. Where he's diving into his money pit and then diving out of it. In the opening theme song. And that is why I put this pop at number 8. I love the sculpt. I love the sculpt of the gold coins. I love his bathing suit. I love his the, the way they got him out coming out of the coins. I love the sculpt of his expression on his face. I just loved everything about this figure. I don't know what else to say. It hasn't probably already been said by somebody else. This is the greatest pop to come out of New York Comic Con. And if you don't agree 
Well, leave your comment down below and let me know why you don't agree with that. But, yeah, as a Disney fan, as a DuckTales fan, as someone who's nostalgia for everything that came out of my childhood, this is the greatest figure to come out of NYCC. And Scrooge McDuck, that is why you're at number 8. Okay, guys, at number 7, I have Arnold from Hey Arnold. Now, I could go on talking about this figure all day. I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. If you want to hear me talk more about it, I have a review up on my channel. I think it was the last video I've done before this video. And yeah, I just really love this figure. This is probably the best figure to come out of the Nickelodeon line. This is probably, well, next to another one you'll see later on. But yeah, this is one of the best figures of 2017. I mean, this figure is great. The show is great. They just gave us the Jungle movie. I mean, there's so many things I could talk about with this figure in the show. But I'm not going to do that because we've got to get on with this list. I love the sculpt of the hair. I love that he has the baseball cap. I love the sculpt of his head. I love the sculpt of his shredder. I love that his hands are crossed, his arms are crossed. I love the shoes. I love the pants. I just love this figure all around. This is probably one of the best figures of 2017. And that is why Arnold is at number 7 on my top 10 list. Now y'all know I couldn't go without putting this on the list. At number 6, we have Trix the Rabbit from Trix. Now I'm a huge, huge nostalgia freak. I love everything from my childhood. And one of the main things I love is getting up when I was younger every morning eating a bow of tricks and going to school. Well, I didn't really like going to school, but tricks and Kim Possible I did like. So yeah, this is just something that is just right near dear to my heart. I love this rabbit. I've always loved this rabbit. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. I love that saying. I just really really love this pop i'm so glad funko gave us a pop to tricks this was not easy for me to get since funko kind of screwed everybody over when they were supposed to have it out one day and then they put it out a different day and didn't really give anybody warning but yeah i'm so glad i was able to get my hands on this i love the sculpt of the ears the eyes the eyebrows the nose the cute mouth I mean, it's simple, but it's great. I really love this figure. And that is why Silly Rabbit is at number six. I would put him higher, but there's a couple other pops I love more. But yeah, this is just an all-out great figure. A great nostalgia childhood piece that I'm so happy I was able to trade for. And all I have to say is one more time, Silly Rabbit. Trix is at number 6. Now what goes better with Trix cereal? Scooby Doo of course. Who didn't love waking up on Saturday mornings or on Cartoon Network daily watching an episode of Scooby and the Gang? And what better villain is there than Creeper? Creeper. I love this villain. This villain scared me and entertained me ever since I was a kid. Even though he only made a few appearances in Jeepers is the Creeper, Cyber Chase, and Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. But yeah, well, in that movie he didn't speak and he puked on people and he didn't have any hair. But still, it was really great to see him in live action in a creepier way than he is. But yeah, I love the sculpt of this figure. I love the hair. I love the eyes. I just love the sculpt of the face. I love his hands. This is a great figure, ECCC, you gave me one of my favorite figures in my collection and one of the best figures of 2017, even though FYA never got it and it cost me $60 on eBay, I still love this figure and I will love it till I die. Cheapers, it's the Creeper. I love you Creeper and I love Scooby Doo. Comment down below what you think of this figure, and if you are a Scooby-Doo fan, just like myself.
Okay guys, at number 4 I have Tommy Pickles from Rugrats. Now when I saw that this was coming out earlier this year, I lost my mind. I'm a huge, huge Rugrats fan. My opinion, it's the number one greatest Nickelodeon show Nickelodeon ever made. It's better than Rocco. It's better than Danny Phantom. Fairly Odd Parents. It's better than all of that. Rugrats is number one. And it was the longest and, well... It's just the best Nick show ever. So when I saw that Funko was making pops to Rugrats, I lost my mind. I wish they made Angelica, but yeah, I'm a huge Tommy fan. I had toys of Rugrats as a kid, and I'm so happy I can have toys again by adding Tommy and Pop form to my collection. Now there is a Chase version where he has the red t-shirt on from the first episode pilot episode and he has the bottle in his hand that is my number one favorite chase of all time and yeah i just love this chase i love the common a little bit more though because this is what tommy wears in almost every episode i love the sculpt of this figure the hair looks good i love the big eyes the pop eyes I love that he has his blue iconic shirt, his diaper. He has the screwdriver that he tries to get out of the playpen with. I mean, this is just an all-out great figure all around. If you're a Rugrats fan, if you're a Nickelodeon fan, you got to add this to your collection. But yeah, Tommy Pickles is at number four because he is my favorite. He's simple, but he's great. I love him, and that is why he's my number four pick for the... Top 10 2017 Favorite Pops. Okay guys, at number 3, I have Maleficent and Dragon Form. Now, I know I could have picked Maleficent with the Flames, which was a Hot Topic exclusive, and she looks great as well, but I chose this version of Maleficent just because it's unique and it's different from what we've seen in the past from Funko, and... Honestly, when I heard that they were coming out with this and it was a Disney Treasures exclusive, I'm so glad that I signed up at the beginning of the year for the Disney Treasures. And I'll be honest, when it says sold out, I was afraid I wasn't going to get this pop. I was scared that I wouldn't get this. And then I was able to get this because I remembered that I had auto pay, so it automatically comes out of my banking account. So I got really happy that I was able to get this pop. And this is just a great sculpted pop. I love the eyes. I love the tail. I love everything about it. I love the horns. I love the scales that are sculpted in. I mean, this is a great pop all around. And that is why the dragon form of Maleficent is at number three. Instead of her with the flames from the scene when she got into the castle to curse a war. I figured the dragon form was more unique and that is why she is at number three. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am Dark Queen Duck. Let's get dangerous. Okay guys, at number two is my second favorite animated Disney cartoon of all time. Kim Possible will always be first. Oh Kim. But yeah. Darkwing Duck takes the second place in the top 10 2017 pops. Of, and I'm so happy that Funko gave us Darkwing. Oh my god. 5 a.m. waking up for school. Oh, I hate school. But you know what got me through to get up for school? Kim Possible, Darkwing Duck, and Weekenders. I doubt we'll ever see Kim Possible and Weekenders as pops. But at least we got Darkwing Duck. Thank you, Funko. I am so happy. Let's get dangerous, folks. Dark Green is a great superhero, probably one of the best superheroes ever made. In fact, if I have to say it, and I'm going to say it, Dark Green Duck is better than freaking Batman. And Batman don't have a kid, but Dark Green does. That's right. Dark Green is also Drake Mallard, who adopts a daughter, Goslin Mallard. And he is a great father all around. He's a great superhero. He has a sidekick. Launchpad McCrack 
from DuckTales, and oh my god, I just really love Darkwing Duck, and I love this figure, and that's why he's at number two. I love the fedora, I love the scope, I love the purple mask, I love the angry eyes, uh, I just love everything, I love his hands to his side, I love the cape, I love the jacket, I love the... I just love everything about this. If you want to hear me say more about this, I've got an, my own review on my channel of Darkwing Duck and the other two in this set. I have not made a review of Nega Duck yet, I don't think. I might do it later. I don't know yet. But yeah, I'm a huge, huge Darkwing Duck fan. And that is why Darkwing is my number two choice for the best pop of 2017. But if you're wondering what number one is... Well, let's just say it goes to the first collection I ever collected when I started collecting. But yeah, Dark Green, you're fantastic. I wish you would come back to television because all I'm going to say is let's get dangerous. Okay, guys, so at number one for favorite pop I own of 2017 goes to Harry Potter on the Nimbus 2000. I love this figure. Now, when I first started collecting Pops, all I had was Sharknado and Harry Potter. Harry Potter was the first set, and it was supposed to be the only set I would ever buy. And, well, as you see, that didn't happen. And I am so happy that they came out with this. I'm a huge Harry Potter fanatic. I've spent thousands upon thousands of dollars twice to go to the theme parks. Hell, I plan on spending thousands of dollars this year to go back in March if everything goes right. So, yeah, I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd. I got the wand. I got the cape. I've got everything. If you're wondering what house I am in, well, comment below and I'll let you know. But, yeah, I'm just a huge Harry Potter fanatic and... Harry on the Nimbus 2000 is at number one. He is an SDCC exclusive, and he is the best SDCC exclusive. For the fact that, oh my god, I wanted Cat Dog, I wanted Steve, I wanted Scrooge McDuck, but I wanted Harry more, and I wanted Luna. I needed the Harry Potter set complete. I mean, it's still not complete because I ain't got the box lunch Harry. Hoping to get him soon to finish off the set. But yeah, I'm just a huge Harry Potter fanatic. I love the sculpt of this figure. I love that he's on the stand. I love that he's in a flying position. He has the Quidditch robe on. He has the boots. He has his glasses. His hair is sculpted to be moving with the wind. I love the scar. I love that he's reaching out to grab the golden snitch. I just love everything about this figure. That is why he's at number one. I mean, just look at him. Luna Lovegood could go right next to him at number one. But out of both of them, I love Harry more. And I'm just so happy Funko did this. And I know they got Juan and Jenny on their Quidditch uniforms, on their brooms coming. And I can't wait to add them to the collection. But yeah, this is just fantastic. I never thought I would see a flying position Harry Potter. I'm so freaking happy. Here's hoping we get Draco later on down the line. And yeah, the scope is great. This figure is fantastic. As a Harry Potter fanatic, like I said, who spent thousands of dollars to go to the theme park. Who spent more money than I should have on a jacket. I just love Harry Potter and that is why this one's at number one. Let me know in the comments below what you would put at number one on this list. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for my top 10 favorite Funko Pops I own of 2017. Let me know in the comments below what your favorites are in my list or what your top 10 would be in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share this video with a friend. Thanks for watching, everybody. Till the next video. Bye.